All right. Uh, let's see. Where were we? No choice. Day one. Is that the right, right spot? Actually, yeah. No choice is exactly the one. Because I was questioning on how you actually spell no choice because I was super tired. Okay. Why don't you make me want to... Oh, hi. ...by the untimely loss of our mayor. But with everything this city has been through, I have to believe we'll come out of this stronger than ever. Let's not sugarcoat this, Roger. How can we feel safe when our duly elected officials are kidnapped and assassinated? You're absolutely right. This is a tragedy. We can't forget or forgive. But how do we move on? Tension can be felt on every street and in every home. Together, Glorgo, that's how we move on. Throughout our city's history, we've faced many challenges and threats, but only together can we find peace. Let's hope you're right. I wonder you make me want to start exercising. It is worth it. Exercise really helps. And you don't even have to do too much. Like, I do 30, 30 to 60 to maybe 90 push-ups a day. And that alone really does pay dividends. I mean, I've definitely noticed it in my arms, shoulders, and chest. Uh, but, like, it's a good mood booster. For reference, for those of you watching YouTube, I did 30 push-ups right before we started recording, so if I send it a breath, it should be understandable. Anyway, I don't think we can put this off for any more days, so let's do Hidden Faction Target one day. Or can we not do it? No, it's one more day, and then we get to do it. I see. So, Cutting Edge gets me... No. We want to do Prison Break, because it's going to reduce unrest... And give me 70. So moderate routine prisoner transfer went bad when har heavily armed hostiles arrived. Keep their freed lieutenant from fleeing the scene. Hostile forces need leadership to function. If authorized by the director, you may need to neutralize a hostile leader. Subduing your target is always preferred. Enemy leadership, if captured, provides valuable intel. Okay. So he has got his tracer rounds. Everybody is good. Let's get going. Okay. Approaching hostile VIP. Last unit through automatically activates Overwatch after the breach. Okay, we'll send in Cherub. Torque. Verge? Wait. When I put in torque. Oh. Throw a ceasefire bomb. So this is when we choose our abilities. Uh maybe in that case let's have terminal going back. I don't actually know who has the best Stay behind abilities, me. but I sorry? How are you hitting that person? How are you hitting any of these people? Okay, so we got a bruiser, an android, and a trooper. Unfortunately, these guys are starting to get tougher. Uh, which is going to be a bit rougher. Okay, what's toxic greeting do? Blast of poison. So I'm going to poison the guardian. Which is apparently like a surefire hit. It's a bit of a surprise. Let's knock this guy out. One person less seems useful. Do we take a shot on that guardian? Go for the android. Let's see if I can take him out. Worst comes to worst, he dies from the poison at the beginning of his turn. The sooner, the sooner we get everybody taken care of, the better. Yeah, that was a phantasmal message board. Is that I a big see the mech VIP. thing? Capture a fable. Oh, so this is just it. Okay. So this is the VIP. We got a charged bash. We've got the bruiser. The android doesn't matter to me as much. Uh...
I'm going to do that. And... I'm going to leave... I'm going to tongue the prisoner if I can. Okay, so he just dies from poison. Everything is good. All right. Not the bruiser. Not any of those guys. This guy... Really? Oh, he's too big! Time for a face-to-face. -face. Okay. That takes out the android. Now, how do I see... Okay. I guess that's that how I see. Well, if I just shoot this guy, then everybody else can just move in. Okay, we grazed him. Damn it. I'm going to stun the escaped prisoner. The less he can do, the less he can move, the better. Alright, he's down. Uh, Gotta get moving. Close. 67%. Should work. He's down. That's easy. All right, lightly wounded. We don't have to worry about too much. Didn't capture as many people, but that's fine. That poison shot is great. Okay, so lowers that. Godmother has got rid of her scars. Coil has no cure for the fade. They're using a public health crisis to increase their recruitment. Put an end to their lies. Show City 31 what they really are. Killers, fear mongers, and opportunists. Okay, so investigation status. We've already read that. So it's time to actually do this mission. Okay, I think the biggest thing that bugs me about this game is all the non-XCOM hostile aliens are designed to look more savage. There shouldn't be any difference between Verge and other sectoid, but there is. It's... They Saturday morning cartoonified all of the hostile aliens. Honestly, my only beef is that they're all flesh colored. I feel like uh I feel like the sectoids were purplier in XCOM like one and two. And I think if they had done the same thing to Verge, I'd be okay with it. Same thing with Cherub. I know Cherub is a hybrid, but still. Like just add a little bit less. They were pink. Were they ah, it's been a while. But I think the main problem is just everybody has that kind of same, um, that same kind of pink purple skin tone that's like extra fleshy that makes them look very soft. And I would love it if there was a little bit more of a, a rainbow here. But no, it's like they, they absolutely are uh, softening up what were the enemies in the previous games. But at the same time, that kind of fits this game's style. It is just cartoonier in general which is i'm kind of fine with it i don't know i'm okay with it okay so we got rid of her crit chance scar so we got some things that we could do we're working on in the enhanced armor that's going to take a while uh let's see so leg work really need more people for this uh training so question is do we just work on godmother now i don't really care much for cherub So I'm, I'm going to have Cherub just uh, just work here. Wow, that straight up doubles the speed. At some point, we will do training. Oh, hi. In fact, maybe sooner than later. So we got a couple of new people. We've got Axiom, high damage, cover destruction. Sender or don't, I'm fine with either. Are you? So charges the target and smashes down with both, both fists. Chance to stun. Okay, rage. I rage. It raises chances of applying disabling effects and eventually battering them. Burst through a door breach point. Okay. We also have swaps positions with the targeted enemy or, enemy or ally. Does not automatically end the turn. Or dead eye. Takes a shot with minus 15 aim penalty for an extra damage boost. Standard pistol fire and dead eye cost an action, but do not automatically end the turn. Hmm. 
I'm mixed on some of these things. I I think my big beef just stands. I my big beef with this is I want more aliens because the aliens seem fun, but at the same time I like the I like blue blood and shelter. Let's let's take a look at biographies. Hmm. Okay. Does he have an interesting backstory? Not overwhelmingly. Because I like the idea of shelter, being able to, specifically being able to relocate and swap with people sounds really useful. Axiom seems interesting just in terms of like, messing things up. Part of the reason why I'm like, I'm tempted for Blue Blood specifically is he has a higher aim chance, decent crit, and can potentially shoot twice per round. Relocate seems like a bad idea. It could be good or bad. It would let me switch him into a position where, like, say if an enemy is behind cover, we could put him behind cover and the guy, uh, like, whatever enemy specifically, uh, you know, out in the open, or move an enemy into the middle of, like, a lo uh, into the middle of my party. Yeah, using Shelter and Cherub together to pull someone... Uh, do you mean Shelter and the Snake Lady? Or, oh, Shield Shelter and then Swap. Ooh. Yeah, you know, that is a decent tactic. Because my main problem is Axiom just gets up and close and personally hits them, I guess. Hmm... Because yeah, my main my main big uh, yeah. my main issue is I want more alien characters because I I think conceptually they're more interesting. At the same time, Shelter's power is immediately more neat. The same thing with Blue Blood. Because I think if Axiom, I, the whole cover destruction is kind of tempting. Hmm. Yeah, because Blue Blood, he seems like a sniper, but I think he's actually just supposed to use two two pistols. Ooh. Because, yeah, taking two shots per round for a character is really good. I, I'm i torn on these, because Blue Blood actually seems like he might be the best. Shelter might be the most interesting, and Axiom is an alien, but his lips freak me out. I think if he didn't have weird human lips, I'd be more okay with it. So let's go... Uh, let's go with Blue Blood. Let's go with Blue Blood. Blue Blood, great to see you. <laughs> Back at you, Whisper. Settling in? Not exactly. Until we have a proper field office, we get to sleep in a rail car repair yard. Mmm, see? Every job comes with a few perks. Eh, let me know when we have any. Okay. So I want to take a look at his abilities. We don't know what they are. Well, that's unfortunate. Still, we could potentially chuck some characters into training. So, basic conditioning just for some extra HP. Tempting. Uh, let's throw blue blood in there for the time being. We'll wait on him. And hopefully we can get some more people sooner than later. So it won't be that big of a deal. Eventually, I'll everyone, you'll have everyone or, or not. I don't think so. I think we'll have just shy of everyone. Okay. And I'm pretty sure we can't get another one of these. Not for a little while. So, yeah. We, sh we should do this. Anything else I want to do? I have some money. What new supply items do we have? So extra padding just gets extra HP. A 
I like the idea of getting more mock weave. We get a ceasefire grenade. I like mock weave though. Let's get another mock weave. I don't actually know if they're as good as I think they are. Uh, and let's give it to him. Because he is considerably more hittable. Or do we give it to her? Because I get her close. Let's give it to her so she doesn't get wrecked. Make items available. Trank rounds. Okay, so we are going to need some more breaching charges and other stuff. We'll leave that for later. Alright. Capture communications relay. Through MPD picked up a coded signal that matches the kind Sacred Coil uses. It's coming from an apartment building, which likely means it's some sort of relay. We need to get in there and secure it. Hostile forces may try to sabotage infrastructure, damage crucial tech, or demolish evidence of their activities. Focus on any hostile attempting to destroy what you're there to protect. Hold fast and outlast their assault. Let's see, are you on permadeath? There is actually no permadeath in this game. Uh, what permadeath does is forces you to restart the entire game, uh, which I'm not super keen on. No, I'm not, I'm just on normal difficulty. I I don't care for permadeath. I'm not I'm not Beagle Rush. I'm not Christopher Odd. I am Wanderbot, and I like my games to be fun, and not pain. I'm here to scum this game into oblivion. 31 PD uncovered a relay for Sacred Coil's propaganda broadcast. Once you find it and secure it, we can trace it to the source. Don't shoot anything with blinky readouts. Got it. Here's the question for this game. Can I get an outsider? Because I would love that. Okay. So let's give her that. Uh, no, actually, let's have her be last. She can poison whoever the last person is. Everybody's probably going to take damage. Breach, this breach, is normal. Breach. Breaching now. It was an outsider. They were effectively like mechs for the sectoid leaders, or not quite sectoid leaders. Whatever the uh, the alien leaders were, they were really cool looking. Uh, kind of super snipers. Okay. So we have Alpha Strike. It looks like just Android, Android, and a there is a commando back there. Alright. Well, I don't have much of a choice. There's Cover Rush. No, we actually want to do Alpha Strike on the next breach. Okay. So we've got an android. This is messy. Let's levitation this guy. And I guess I'm just going to shoot the turret. I guess levitation wasn't quite as useful as I was going for. Ow. Okay, so the, the lift was not super useful. This is not terribly surprising. So here's the question. We do have a guy back there. I don't want to take too much damage. Okay. The real question is, if I shoot from here, can I hit this guy? The answer is, I don't know, we're gonna go with this. 
of him. 71% chance. Missed that before, not this time around. Well, nuts. Okay. So let's have her run up. We're going to shoot this android. Hopefully it goes down. Okay, there we go. Yeah, unfortunately our guns are starting to drop in terms of effectiveness, which is a bit of a shame. Decent shot. Missed entirely. Smoke grenade. Uh-oh. Well, uh-oh. my shot chances. Bad. Option A. I'm going to move her here. Now she is shrouded. We could shoot this guy. I'm going to try and hit the android. Okay, so that, that works. Move up. Knock this guy out. He is not down yet. Damn. All right. Uh, it's okay. We got another shot. Into the action. Yeah, I need better goons. Hit the purifier. He's down. Yeah, I would have. I would have loved to bind this commando, but we can't. Uh, so I'm just gonna have him run in. Now, he, is he actually shrouded? He is. Yeah, it worked out. Communication equipment in the next room. That must be the relay. Their propaganda is... sophisticated. I look forward to shutting it down. I do wish I had a moment to do the med kit, but I understand. There are fewer aggressive enemies present in this entrance. What's this? Oh, terminal. All units entering here get extra defense. Um, so she has to hack in. And I don't think any of them actually have any breach abilities. I wish it was a little easier to select Breaching. them. Open sesame. Okay. So we've got a guardian, a turret. Hit the turret. What else do we have? Commandos in the back. Android there. I'm gonna leave the Guardian and try and hit this guy. Damn it. Guardian, Android. Turret's okay. That Commando's pretty far away. Let's see if I can take out the Android. Over the turret. I guess I'll hit the Guardian. Not the greatest of damage. Let's see where this puts Godmother. Uh, I? Okay. There's our target. Let's keep it intact. So who's number two? The guy in the very far back. 
I guess that works for me. How do I see how many AP, how much H, uh, how many bits of AP a character has? Because it says we get a bonus action, but I've never actually been able to figure out uh, where the AP list is. Like, in the previous XCOM games, they specifically, uh, they specifically had, like, pips above your action bar. I don't see it anymore. Yeah, no, wherever, whatever it is, I've, like, totally lost it. Can I, like, quick save? No. So you stop capturing people? I actually have trank rounds. Uh, sort of humorously enough. Let's move up. She's probably going to get hit for this. Alright, I was really hoping that would destroy the... Yeah, of course, he's got a smoke grenade. I get that. Could get that commando. Blech. This is such a goofy, strong ability. I love it. Hello! Did that shield guys? I think it did. Uh, let's see. Do we have a good shot at the Guardian? Not really. No. Okay, in that case, I'm just going to have her heal herself. And let's just do Overwatch. Because we don't have a good shot. Uh, let's see. Battle Madness Commando? Show sure. them how you feel. Call the prey. There goes the shield. Alright, and then we're gonna stupor this guy. Let's see. Are commandos and guardians androids? No. No ammo. Okay, so she has one shot left. That thing's in Overwatch, but it's not going anywhere. Alright, he's down. Covering the distance. Of course we missed. We shot through the fridge. Now Godmother is probably gonna get shot in the butt here. Never mind. Works great for me. Alright. I'm gonna zoom out. Can I? Yes! The blap of death! Wait, what? Oh, we can't blap them. This is a travesty. Well, long shot. Got him! Let's see. Now, the turret's going to overwatch. Not much I can do about that. We could just try and deal with it. But I think that would be a bad idea. Okay, it's marked and not overwatched. Cover me while I reload. So frustratingly enough. Oh, can you not subdue the turret? Oh. I'm a little disappointed. I was really reload. hoping I could just have everybody charge the thing and just hit it. But that's fine. Boop.
Oh. Okay. So this is different. They're coming in. So I got four people to cover. A couple of spots. We've got three waves of reinforcements incoming. And Godmother specifically is in a bad spot. Well, she's in the worst spot. So why don't we... I'm going to stick her right there. How much... She's fine. So I'm going to have her watch that door. Gonna have her pop over here. Nobody's terribly wounded. I'll shoot anything that moves. Go for that. Repositioning. Run Virgin. Another biped showing off. Shoot the window. Okay. So they're breaching now. Verge? Well, okay. There that goes. Hi. Uh, is it just this guy? It is. Goodbye. Got the drop on him. Don't get twitchy. Okay. I'm gonna have Verge... Verge still has plenty Falsing of ammo. Over. So I'm gonna have him go back here. And aim. Because that one guy just kind of snuck through. Not that it matters. I'm running low. Advancing! Oh, he's down. Low ammo. And she has low ammo. She's just going to complain about this endlessly, isn't she? Reload. Reloaded. And goodbye. I'm ready for him. I keep expecting them to come out of any of these other windows. Uh, gotcha. and they're not? They're, they're very much... Weapon ready. They're very much focused on this one specific spot. Now, here's the question. Where do they come from? Oh, they actually come from this direction this time around. Well, that's fine. And we have one robot. Excuse me, robot. I have questions. Shifting! Do you appreciate overwhelming firepower? I will take that as a no. We captured nine people. I really feel like there should be no upper limit, the amount of just like reward you get for capping everyone. But after a certain point, you have to do like more prison break missions because the prisons are overloaded. Excellent work. City 31 sees the true face of Sacred Coil, and they don't like it. Like, maybe diminishing returns, but still. I kept a lot of Sacred Coil there. Alright, the so we got some promotions. Known as the Fade has reached City 31, concerning many of our hybrid residents. Next Gen, a local medical research facility, sought to reassure the public. We will find a way to treat this disease, but it will take time to develop a cure. Some hybrid citizens are unimpressed with the lack of progress. The Fade affects us. Only us. The gene therapy clinics could solve this. Open them back up. More on this story as it develops. This is Celio Dash with Channel 37. So, Flush takes a shot at an enemy, forcing them to reposition. This could be good with Overwatch. Last stand would be occasionally useful. I'm going to go for flush. So what she got? Find does more damage. Extra mobility in the first turn of every encounter and a permanent bonus to dodge. <laughs> Her dodge is now 130. <laughs> Good luck hitting torque. If we're, if we're lucky, every shot against Torque will always be grazing forever. Okay. So... P 
Pin down. Shoots non-damaging suppressive fire. Push their turn down the two timeline. Two turn cooldown. Hmm. I don't know if pin down's good. Stuff like sustain would be interesting. But I'm just going to assume I'm okay. Enemies in the neural network that would be killed are rendered unconscious instead. Ooh. I mean, not overwhelmingly useful, but it would mean we don't have to... We don't have to bring as much... Yeah, I'm going to go for that. Oh, wait, no. Maybe not. No, let's not. I'm just going to be using a silly amount of... Um, Eventually, we're going to cap out on intel use anyway. Maybe. Maybe. But crowdsource, every person that we connect to gets him an extra 5% aim and 10% crit chance. That would turn him monstrous. Because collar would be nice, but I just don't, I don't think we have an immediate use for it. Okay, so that's going to take a couple turns. Reclamation links sacred coil to a variety of City 31's missing persons. All human. Stop these human abductions and recover them from sacred coil. Time is of the essence. Alright. So, six days before the next one. Probably going to want to do this. Uh, ooh, maybe not. Let's take a look. As you know, our presence in City 31 is precarious. The city council is divided on Reclamation's future, so we do the job we came here to do. Secure dangerous technology from those who seek to harm City 31. As Reclamation confirms intel on these bread and butter missions, we'll place them on the map. They can't argue with our mandate. Protecting the citizens of this city will help them understand our commitment. Okay, so... Extra three days towards... Mm, that's okay. A free field team might actually be better, though. Speaking of, we can actually upgrade something. I could upgrade that. I think it's... Hmm. I don't know. Because, yeah, this would reduce the unrest by one. This one's starting to get a bit spooky. Uh, so reducing the unrest might not be a bad idea. And the extra progress on that science... Would guarantee we were done with enhanced armor immediately. The extra field team would be lovely. I don't know, what do you guys think? Free field team? Because the more field teams I, I have out on the map, the more resources I gain overall. Yeah, that'll pay dividends. Okay, uh, so let's find this zone. Let's see, do we want more credits or do we want more Illyrium? We're doing okay on one, less so on the other. Or I could go for more, even more intel. Now let's put it out. Let's let's go for credits. We're gonna need them. Okay, life is good. Go for growth industry. We'll just use the uh, vigilance on this one, as soon as it pops by. Uh, let's see what else. What else do I do today? So he's working on that. If I take him off of that. Maybe. How long is this going to take? Wait, what? Damn it.
Because, yeah, we could take him off and get some more intel. It would take three turns. I, I guess easy, easy way to check. Let's pull him off of assembly duty. So how long is this going to take now with nobody in it? Still two? I guess we do need need him in here no matter what. I think. Because, yeah, we're not actually going for essential personnel to speed things up. So that would be, that'd be silly of me. 